four months, uh, Gordon College in Orvieto uh, brings about 20 students to come study, live together, study together, eat together, travel together, and experience a beautiful dialogue between uh, the, the past and the present in a way that makes sense. Not that's nostalgic. Not, we, have, we have very little interest in creating a program that adores the past without having an application for the future. A real experience that allows them to, in, to find a balance also between solitude and togetherness. Really strong uh, uh, possibilities that an American audience, an American student, uh, it, it can be challenged by. I've been collaborating for um, Gordon College since the very beginning of the Orvieto semester program. It has really changed my life and it's been a really transforming experience because as a local uh, I've been asked to, um, to, to mediate with, with, the, with the community, with the local community to um, to help uh, the, the the program to establish uh, its basis here, uh, to take care of the logistics um, and the and the life of the students, uh, but for sure uh, I've I received that uh, hunger for beauty that the students have. I my experience in Orvieto has been totally like nothing I could expect. Um, it's a beautiful town and coming from the Midwest in America, it's like nothing I've ever seen before. And I've felt immediately welcomed into the town um, just in everyday life and learning how the people live and interact and just seeing the cadences and the pace. And it's so different from anything I've ever seen. And on top of that, it's it's just beautiful to just walk around. It was originally uh, an Etruscan, Etruscan city is mind blowing to me. And I find myself walking around and realizing how long this place has been here and not being able to believe it. And I just love that I can come here and, and just be a part of the community. Um, I have loved being a part of this place for the past four months. Um, I think it's just, it's become such a familiar place to me and, and a lot of us have been calling it home <laughs> for us here. And I think part of that is that we have been able to walk up the Corso every day and see the same faces and it's beautiful to me to be able to begin to really recognize people and get to know the people in the shops and um, have <laughs> somewhat of an Italian conversation with them. <laughs> and, for us it's important that they, they live together in a, way that, in a way that provides them with the type of challenges, the daily struggles, the things that they will have to adapt to as foreigners living here, but in, in a way that also has an outlook towards service towards the city. Our friendship with the city is, is extremely important to us because we believe that if we don't have a proper relationship with the, with the people that are our hosts, um, then we will leave here without ever having had a realistic and a real encounter with the city. And that goes for the artwork that they're making, the poems they're writing, every aspect of their life, we hope will find an integration and a wholeness during their time here. But it's not easy. It's also difficult to live uh, as a foreigner abroad and to encounter these things. So if we can create the conditions to allow them to have an, uh, an experience like this that provides them with the right amount of challenge, the right amount of discipline, the right amount of, uh, uh, of experience, then we believe that we are preparing them in a unique, in a unique way for, for the future in whatever discipline, uh, whatever field of research, in whatever field of of, of, we hope, uh, uh, creatively relating to, the, to, the, to their professions for the future. Desire of, uh, of, of deepening the, the, the arts and, and the, the great potential that the city of Orvieto um, has. Uh, so uh, it's been a really transforming experience for me and I think that Orvieto in this sense is a great town. With the presence of Gordon College, uh, the town of Orviedo has been um, surely enriched uh, in, a, in, a, in a positive sense uh, because it, it seems to me a more uh, ecumenical town. Uh, it seems to me a more uh, open town to, um, to, the, to the intercultural life that uh, the world must be um, made of. And, um, 
and so uh, the life of the students and the and the life of the faculty with with the Orvietani, with the local people, uh, has allowed us to open uh, our eyes to break the the, the boundaries of uh, of uh, uh, closeness, you know, and uh, and break the prejudices of uh, of uh, of each other, uh, even to allow uh, yeah a, a new dialogue between protestantism and, and catholicism so uh, i think this is a this is a really good uh, thing that can make orviedo also uh, an example um, for 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 other towns and uh, uh, a great um, historical and artistic center um, in in the world from the start in uh, 1998, we hoped to live quietly in the city, slowly earning the trust of the people and of the town, and gradually, uh, piano piano, de, de, uh, to, to be allowed to contribute something from us to the cultural life of the town. I really appreciate just getting to know some of the people here, and, and this place is beautiful. Um, I love the architecture and just the way that the light dances on, on, the, on the buildings and um, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> and was able to study here two semesters and then finished my last year at university in the States and then have come back this year for work, um, which has been a very wonderful experience. Um, the townspeople of uh, the Orvietani have always been um, sort of very generous, um, very gracious and sort of full of uh, generosity. Um, so there are a number of friends here that have sort of made it feel like a second home to me. And I think it's a beautiful thing to see also the American students come to this place uh, and when they encounter something so other from their normal existence in the States, it's a very, it's a deep experience for them. Um, and I think they are able to grow a lot. I know I've grown a lot here um, and continue to. To create the, uh, I helped create the uh, the festival of art and faith festival Darte Fede, uh, which is now completely a town uh, sponsored event, and I've enjoyed that very much to be to participate in creating something that becomes Orvietano, non Americano. Mm -hmm.